Okay, morning, one <coughs> stone laptop, uh, hard drive replace, uh, failed or too small, I'm not really, I didn't ask. He just said, can you replace the hard drive? Yes. So what we're looking at is this one here, we need to, is there? Quite straightforward, just two screws. Very simple. Memory underneath this one. I'm not doing the memory, we're just doing the hard drive. Yeah, there we go, it's probably too small. 120 gig SSD. We're going to replace it with 250 gig or 40 gig Kingston. That's what we're doing, replacing it with that. This is how easy it is. Done. The actual case in itself on the screws has this little piece sticking out which is a and it just holds it into place so you've got the three pop them in told you it was easy <laughs> very very simple a lot of laptops are like this nowadays and that's really it I'm going to go and do a boot up and I'm going to show you how to remove all the partitions and to get windows back on it as well. So, there we go. Uh, where's my drive? Two seconds. So we have a Windows 10 on a uh, Windows 10 64 bit on a USB stick. This has been put on there using an ISO. We don't have IS. I mean, we don't. Don't ask me for it in the, in the description down below. We can't get them out because it's a, this is a company. So, what we do, we find a spare USB port. I've already configured the BIOS, but I'll go into the BIOS again for you to have a look, which I think is F2. I just did one the other day, so I can't remember. I do that many. Try it from boot up. Keep pressing F2. Possibly F12. Resume from my donation, so. Uh, no, I missed that one. Two seconds. Okay, so it's F2 for the BIOS, F7 for boot options. Um, at the top, we've got the Kingston. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on one sec. I'll get you into position. So you see, the top one is the uh, the the next one is Kingston, which is the hot drive. That's the CD-ROM. They got the Realtek, which is boot option Pixie Boot, which will boot from your network if you've got it on, which we do as well. And the bottom one is a secure lock. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to change that at the moment. I'm going to see if I can boot from F7 and if it picks the secure lock automatically, then we can just boot that way just to save time and then I'm going to change any of that. Um, so we'll exit on that one. Save change, yeah, because we haven't done anything. Then we're going to go F7. Let's see if it comes up. And there we go, and there's the secure lock down there. So just scroll down using the arrow keys, and then press enter, and it should boot. It'll take a while, it usually does, before you get the little circle. So give it a, you know, give yourself a minute. Don't, don't think it's failed, so we'll see what happens. Let's have a look. You'll see it's by magic. Hopefully. If not, you have to put 32 bit on. There we go. 64 bit. You can see the circle turning. This is for beginners, by the way. This is not for the professionals. So then we come up with the window screen. Sorry about the camera. Let's have a look. There we go. Make sure you're in focus. So, what we'll do, uh, the United States, you can't change that for some damn reason. It just is the United States. You click it, that's it. The next one down is that. So, just click up one. United Kingdom and the bottom value will change as well click next install now Just give it a sec very very easy so hard drive install simple very simple what did it take that's probably less than a minute give this a second I'll just pause you while we're waiting didn't need to came up straight away you have to accept the terms and conditions you've got no choice so you go next then the bottom one here, choose this one, not the upgrade, choose the bottom one, custom install. And then we have three partitions, so just click on them, 
and just removes them. I think the drive's been used before in another machine, which is fine. Delete, click OK, and then click the top one or whatever one you can't find. There we go, partition one. Click OK, and we should end up with one partition now. Can you see that? Okay, and then next on that. And that's really it. Um, it'll do its own thing. When it comes to reboot, if you don't take the... Uh, no, it should be, when you come to reboot, it should be fine. If you set it in the BIOS to boot from the USB stick, if you don't take it out when it says finishing up, the machine will reboot again, boot from that, and you'll think, oh, it hasn't done it. Well, it has. So you just take the stick out, restart the machine, and, and there you go. It's that simple. Okay? If you like the vid, please give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Uh, like and subscribe button is in the right-hand corner over there. Uh, up and coming videos are up here. Try and chuck one on every time I can. Every Maybe sometime once a day. Sometimes I don't. But there you go. Um, support the channel would be great. Just, just like it. It's great. Okay, thanks very much. Take care and we'll see you in the next vid.